What's the word, gang? It's your girl, gang, with me, and I am back with another video. Today, we got something different. Today, we're going to talk about the new GTA 5 and the new GTA Online coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X and X on March the 15th. Today is March the 4th, and Rockstar just uh, put out a little newsletter. So, I was reading this and decided to make a month video because i will be uh playing gta um i may be streaming this and stuff or playing it and putting it not streaming it but just playing it and putting it on my channel or whatever yeah i know how i do but they in this article i guess they're gonna transfer um story mode progress now uh teach us how to transfer the story mode progress plus first detail on gta online profile migration so it basically says GTA is coming to uh, coming to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 on March the 15th. I do play on PlayStation 5. I do got an Xbox Series X and S. So um, you can catch me on all them. But I mainly will be on PlayStation 5. Um, they said they got three new versions of GTA 5 and GTA Online. Um, and it says it's going to introduce high-end PC visuals. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, they got gr new graphic modes. Uh, they're going up to 4K to 60 frames per second. Um, improved texture quality, HDR options, and ray tracing. I know a lot of people may be excited for that. Um, they util utilizing the technical advancements of the latest console hardware for faster load times, immersive 3D audio support for platform specific features and more. So that's what's up. So it looks like they're going to have, um, they got new experience, the interwoven stories of Franklin, Michael and Trevor across the sun. So Metropolis of Los Santos and the backwoods of the backwoods countryside of Blaine County. Okay, we already know about that. That's cool. But this is new. So basically, you're going to have the option, like you do in any other game now, to either do fidelity mode, which is um, the highest visual quality, and it's only going to be 30 frames per second. Or um, in that mode, you can do, uh, it's going to be, it's going to support native 4K on PlayStation 5 and Xbox with ray tracing enabled with the Xbox Series S supports upscaled 4K. Um, but in performance mode, you, you're you not going to have that higher visual, visual quality, but you're going to hit 60 frames per second. And then they say in this mode, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X support upscaled 4K resolution while the Xbox Series S supports a resolution of 1080p. That's crazy. Then, in addition, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X have performance or a T mode. I don't like that 1080p, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, the but in addition, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X have performance or a T mode, a hybrid of fidelity and performance mode supporting upscale 4K resolution with ray tracing enabled and targeting 60 frames per second what that's tight that's tight that may be the that may be the way to go then i got the little picture up on her it, it do look it do with with the picture the picture even look a little better but i understand this game hella old but i mean it still can be fun like shit to me i guess this this it still can be fun playing with the right people um and say these new versions also offer across the board improvement including faster loading time increased population and traffic variety increased vegetation density improved lighting quality across shadows water reflections and other elements plus improved anti-alias aliasing motion blur highly detailed new explosions fire and much more um, there's also new level of responsiveness with haptic feedback um, and dynamic resistance via the adapted triggers on the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller, adding new sensations to weather effects, directional damage, rough road surfaces, that's tight, explosions and much more, that's tight. I, I can't wait to feel this on the, um, on the PlayStation 
on a PlayStation Five. I hope they I hope they execute this. I think it's gonna be lit. I don't know. Um, uh, I mean it's just, it's be something to do until GTA Six come out. It's coming, but I don't know. GTA Five still, you know, like I said, you had some people to play with. It's still lit. Um, platform specific features also include immersive audio using Tempest 3D, positional audio on PlayStation Five, and spatial sound on Xbox Series X. GTA Online. Um, <laughs> with the unprecedented eight years worth of gameplay additions delivered across over 40 unique updates. Um, we'll continue to evolve with pop with the power of the PlayStation 5 and Series X. This new generation of GTA Online includes a range of new vehicles and new addition to the Los Santos Car Me. How special works. How Special Works encompasses best-in-class vehicle upgrades, a new class of races using specially modified vehicles, and a weekly rotation of How Special Work time trials, along with the premium test ride where you can get behind the wheel of these newly modified vehicles for free. That's cool, but I guess. Um... In addition to access being included as part of GTA 5, GTA Online will now be available for the first time as a standalone title. <laughs> this a new game. <laughs> this a straight new game for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Plus for the first plus for the first 3 months from launch, GTA Online will be available to download and keep for free for PlayStation 5 players making it easier than ever before for new players to experience everything GT Online has to offer. I think that's lit that they're doing that for PlayStation 5 players, though, for real. Um, I don't know why people would have to pay for it, but it is what it is. I mean, I know you could, I know you could do about it. So you got to pay for it <laughs> on Xbox Series X and S. I mean, it is what it is. But um, they're going to give it to PlayStation 5 players for free. For free, that's lit. Um, I guess that, that that I mean that can combat um what's that called? Uh the little Xbox subscription service. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Whatever. And new players might need more than just a pistol in their belt strap to survive Los Santos. So we're introducing a new career builder feature design especially for new players or anyone who wants to reset their character and get a fresh start. Of course. To, it's a new game. We <laughs> we starting all over to get an introductory leg up in the criminal world of Southern and Southern San Andreas. With this system, you get a four million dollars what windfall to select essential essentials, including business, property, vehicles, and weapons. Wait, do everybody get that four thousand, or is just just for new players? Furthermore, GTA Online for PlayStation Five and Xbox Series. X and S has an assortment of new quality of life improvement, including a newly designed introduction and tutorial for new players, a new front end main menu that allows you to jump directly into free mode, heist, races, adversary modes, the latest feature, weekly event content, and more. Um, story mode and online transfer. I mean, I'm just gonna. I ain't gonna read all this. I'm just gonna skip through it. Y'all can read it all if y'all want to. Just pause it or go to their little newswire and read it. Um, but you can transfer your story mode and your GTA Online characters and progression to PS5 and Xbox Series X or um, across console platforms with a one-time migration for each. That's dope. So, so if you got a PlayStation Five and an Xbox Series X, you better transfer your stuff over to PlayStation, so so you don't gotta pay for that. But anyway, so starting today, this just came out today on March the fourth. Um, players can begin transfer to story mode progress by uploading a save to the Rockstar Game Social Club, um, and then it goes to tell you how you can do that. Um, you can only store one game save per platform at a time and saves remain available to download for 90 days. Cool. Um, players with the Rockstar Game Social Club account will also be able to migrate their GT Online character progress to PS5 or Xbox Series X on March 15th upon loading up the game on either of these new consoles. These migrations include any character, your money, your progression, your stats, your vehicles, your properties, your weapons, your clothing, and player-created jobs. Um, 
Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online will be available digitally on March 15th through the PlayStation 5 console store and the Microsoft store with pre-purchase and pre-load beginning on March the 8th. And physical releases coming in April. Dang, you hear this? This is a whole new game. This is a whole new game. So check me out. Um, anybody who play GTA Online on PlayStation 5, get at me. Add me. My game attack, uh, game with me. Uh, let me make sure that's what it is. Game with me or game with me YT. So add me on there and we're going to get it in. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.